bless you out there, global Christian friends. Uh, truly, we give him the honor, the glory, and praise, and we thank God that we're praying for you out there. And you ought to be glad that you've got someone that has uh, the kind of heart, the mind, the spirit, the soul, the word, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding to pray for you out there. I'm not doing no differently than what Jesus said and what he did. In the 17th chapter of John, what do you say? Father, I'm praying for those that thou hast given me, but I'm also praying for those that are not here. So Jesus prayed for those of us 2,000 years ago. He prayed for me. He prayed for you. He prayed for us. And caused us to have knowledge that the other apostles don't have. Uh, wait a minute. You just stepped overboard. No, I did not step overboard. I stepped into the understanding of the scripture. That's where I stepped. I stepped into the understanding of the scripture. It's not like, how readest thou? All right? I know what scripture says. I don't err because of scripture. I don't err because of the power of God. But I go up into the gaps of the scripture to make sure that I come down with the correct message. All right? And I know how to rightly divide the word of truth. And I know that the word of God, which is the seed, uh, in Hebrews 4 and 12, is quick, sharp, powerful, sharp than any two of his sword, piercing, even unto the dividing asunder. It discerns all the qualities I know. Also, we know that the word of God done what? Framed the world. We also know that you out there have made the word of God uh, of none effect how? By traditions. All right? And we said out there before, why, and I want to make this quite clear, I've said it before, I'll say it again, uh, 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 why breaking God's law to justify your sins by offering something dead to the living God. Y'all hear that out there? Why breaking God's law to justify your sin by offering something dead uh, to the living God? And that's, look, you out there that are killing goats to offer to God, think about what you're doing. We said it before. What sin did that goat commit for you to kill him, to offer him for your sin? All right. None. But we don't understand. But step into the understanding of the Bible. Step into the understanding of the scriptures. Gabriel told Daniel, that there are only two that understand the truth of the scriptures the way that they need to. That was in his time. He said that was me and Michael. Gabriel told Daniel that. Me and Michael. Well, we are after their time with the knowledge they're after. And God had promised that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh in the end time, in the end days. Now, don't get the wrong impression. Because I'm talking this way, I'm not uh, 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 saying that you ought to get out there and uh, 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 jump inside of that 5,125-year cycle uh, that the Mayan uh, introduced some years ago when they predicted 2012 
11 minutes before noon. <laughs> All right. 11 minutes before noon, uh, when the solstice takes place, we're not going over in the, to those areas. But we can give you words that will outlast anything uh, that will destroy the entire world. Uh, and I want to give you those words so that you may understand. It does not matter when the world comes to an end because of these words. And uh, when you read it, it says this. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my words, uh, shall not pass away. All right. My words uh, shall not pass away. My words uh, shall not pass away. Keep that in mind. My words uh, which is why we hear and keep his words uh, because he said uh, my words uh, shall not shall not pass away hang on latch on hold on grasp grip Please, all right, adhere to, adhere to his words, all right? So basically, it does not matter when, and you don't have to be afraid when you got his words, praise the Lord. <laughs> you don't care when <laughs> the whole universe of creation collapse. Or the Bible said the heavens are going to vanish away like smoke. You don't care about that. All right? Uh, the heaven and earth shall flee at his coming. You don't care about that. Why? Because you have his words which shall not pass away. All right? And I can't stress that point enough in this day and time to you out there across the world. Now, when we look at this statement, Uh, praise the Lord. I should not reign over them. All right. Think about that. You don't want him to reign over you. His words are not going to pass away. God bless you, global Christian friends. Until the next time out there across the world.